Hey, hey, baby girls. Today we are doing an Opoly haul trial. I haven't wore Opoly for a while. I did get a little bit insecure of my stomach and just like thought I wasn't that girl. I got into a bad space where I was like, you are too old now and you're not cool enough and you not, haven't got a nice enough body to wear Opoly. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, Sadie Bass, this goes against everything you stand for. If I like the dress, I'm gonna wear it. We've got loads to get through and if you like my videos, then please give me a thumbs up because it's the validation I need to survive. Also comment because it makes me feel like I actually have friends. And it'd be amazing if you would subscribe so I can continue to do this as a job. <laughs> Let's just get on with the video. Got loads, look. Do you know what? What I'm actually wearing right now, this little cute short and bralette set, it's really soft. It's actually from Opoly, it's from their sports brand, Bowen Tee. I got it for my travels and I love it. Super comfy, perfect with like trainers, oversized shirt. I'm obsessed with it and look at the back. Look at the back. It's like cute little tie up, shows my tattoo. Definitely in the summer, I'll be wearing this out all the time. Comfy but you still look like you got your life together. Tick. I'm actually going to start with a dress. I know, crazy girl. I need to prove to myself that I've still got it. This is the kind of dress that I feel like they've taken out of my brain and made. It's just soft girl, dainty, kind of like fairy Valentine's energy. Little white lace number. And I got this in a 10. And do you know what? I'm glad because it's actually quite stretchy. So let's get it on and hope that I don't have a mental breakdown. Ooh la la. <laughs> okay, this is cute. I don't even know why I was worried. Like, what? It actually fits my body so well. If anything, it's a bit... <laughs> It's a bit big. I think this is just a stretchy dress. It's actually quite see-through, which is crazy. It's like a mesh underlay, like, underlay, underlay. It has like a little slip underneath. You can't see my pants because I'm wearing nude, but I was wearing bright colored ones earlier and you could see it through. So it's fine. You just have to make sure you wear nude pants. I love this like neck. I think that's so different and like cutesy girly, you know what I mean? And it goes low at the back, but not too low that your whole back's out. Super flattering shape on your waist though. Not too short. It's pretty, it's pretty. I mean, the boob cups, they're a little small for me. I would love it if I could have wore a bra with it just to like, you know, give them a little boost or something. But do we think the color is washing me out? Like, is it my color? I sometimes struggle with neutrals. I feel like brighter colors look better on me, so I'm not too sure. But I mean, it's pretty and I like it a lot. So, okay, we've thrown ourselves in at the deep end with a dress. I'm very proud of myself. But we're going to turn it down and try this cute little set. It's gorgeous little grey like ribbed top with a lace. The first impressions of this, it's super thick. I love when Opoly does that. Like, you know it's just going to do bits. It's going to suck you in. You could either get shorts or it did have this matching yoga like flared pant. Genuinely the softest thing and the thickest thing. Like when I order loungewear, this is kind of what I want it to be. I'm thinking I could wear this to yoga. Like, I don't know if I mentioned that I'm a yoga girl now. Like, does it make me better than you? Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, we were. I feel 10 out of 10. I feel like that girl. You know when you see the girls on TikTok and they just have like clear glass skin, they always have like a matcha and they're always going to Pilates. Yeah, I feel like a Pilates princess in this it is doing a lot for my figure but it's still the comfiest thing this top really like pulls in the boobs without it being too much you don't need to wear a bra if i had a bay to chill with on sundays netflix and chill best note i'd be turning up in this because it's just like i haven't even made an effort but like i look so hot the color is gorge i know they had like white and black too which i feel like this would look really flattering in black as well i'll try and show you the legs it's like a flared bottom and i'm five at three so i'm pretty sure and it's just grazing the floor so with like trainers and stuff it's gonna be absolutely fine i just think that leg is super flattering the way it flares out it like makes your hips look bigger it has this little fold over flap so you can show like a little bit of your stomach if you want this is quite long on me, to be honest. I can always make it look like a jumpsuit. I can't wait to wear this to yoga. Imagine me, like, downward dog. Like a... Namaste, bitches. Completely forgot to say I got both of these things in a medium. Okay, I think it's time for, like, a going out cohort. I present you with 
this cheeky little number. It must have been from their Valentine's collection. Can you tell I am living for lace at the moment? I just think it's so stunning. Red little flare sleeved top, lace up back with this cute little ruched ruffle skirt. Dreamy, right? I feel like with hair up or something, it's giving Spanish senorita, let's get it on. How am I literally so in love with everything? It's just stop. I, I have no one to wear all this stuff, but I want to. So I got the top in a 10. I always get the tops a little bit smaller on me and I feel like it fits perfectly. I love the lace up back because it means you can kind of like tie it tighter, adjust it to your body. It has a little bit that like keeps your boobs in. I would again still have loved to wear a bra, but I think with Opoly, most of their dresses you can't wear a bra. Then the skirt I got in a 12 and I think it's meant to be a bit more like low rise, mid rise, which absolutely scares the shit out of me. But it works because the shape and it, the ruching is super flattering on your stomach and it's not too short. <gasps> Can we just get a round of applause to Opoly because everything I ordered lately is too short. It has like ruching up the bum to kind of give you a little bit more shape. And controversially, I like these little like tie up lacing, even though you can literally see your skin through. I mean, you can wear nude pants, you could wear red pants. I think this is actually very flattering and really, really gorgeous and like just something a bit different, you know? I really think on holiday maybe with hair up like this, oh, uh, you can't tell me that's not the dream. This is everything I want to look like. I love red as well. I think it's such a nice color, like statement color. This next dress was just screaming spring at me. <laughs> cute little baby pink like soft ribbed number i mean maybe it wasn't the best decision because it was literally snowing at the weekend but like i couldn't resist i feel like opoly have really nailed their marketing the way their models style everything it just draws you in you're like oh, you know who would like that me i got it in a medium and it's the same collection as those yoga pants so i'm i'm feeling pretty pretty positive do you know what it's sweet it's sweet it's okay I feel like it's not doing as much for me as the other dresses. It's giving bloated. It's giving bloated. Like, it's just not got the sassy energy. I feel like my vision didn't come to life, and I'm annoyed. I feel like this would actually be so much better if it was just a top, and I could wear it with, like, blue jeans, but the dress. I actually don't know where I would wear this. It kind of would be cute in the spring with, like, little white trainers, maybe, but... I don't know, I don't love it enough to pay the price for it. It is actually quite warm and like really thick, same material, you don't need to wear a bra. It's double lined, so it doesn't show like your pants or anything. It's a really good length. Mm, I'm just not fussed. Did you kind of see what I mean? Please let me know in the comments the pieces you like the best and the pieces you don't. Then I actually got a gym set from Bow and Tee. I just realized that Bow and Tee kind of sounds like booty. Do you think that's what it's meant to be like? I actually have like two brain cells genuinely. Their gym sets look oh, fire. I don't know if it's the gym sets or if it's the girls' bodies that are modeling it, but it really like looks like it does bits. And I'm really trying to up my gym game and go, so I want cute sets. This color is everything. They have so many nice color gym sets, honestly. So I've got this like sports bra, matching cycling shorts. It doesn't stop there, because I also got the matching hoodie. We're just gonna take it that extra length. I think it says I have my life together and I'm a bougie bitch, like a three piece little matching set, you know? Ready for the gym. <sighs> okay, cute, 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 cute. Color is stunning. Like, I love blue. I got the top in a medium and I think it fits so well. It's doing the most for my boobs. It's a low back, which I like a lot. Little waistband says bow and tee. Like, it's just very fashionable. I actually got the shorts in a large, which I feel like I should have got a medium. Like, I know they look fine and they're really comfy. Just a tiny bit like not really sucking me in. And I feel like a medium would have been more like the length is exactly what I want, something that's not like right up my arm. Love this, I'm just a bit worried about the support for your boobs, like actually when I'm deeping it, this is more of a fashion piece isn't it? This is more, you know the girls that go like hiking in LA, this is if I want to look cute wearing gym wear, like it actually feels more like a bra, 
than a sports bra. I don't do high intensity workouts. I mainly do like strengthening. I'm not sure if it's big boob approved, but maybe I need to try their more impact sports bras. Let me know if you've tried them. I'm gonna pop the hoodie on. The hoodie I got in a medium. What is this? Zegze. Oh, see, I love it now with the hoodie. Cute. This is so nice. I love the big sleeves and how it goes in and it has their like, sports band bit really soft and comfy and just like baggy this with a little trainers like my little adidas blue ones i have i would just be slaying so hard i don't know how practical it is but for like running errands i like it i only have two more things to show you and this is a sexy little satin number she does try and be classy sometimes it's like a little black bandeau dress and this like wraps around it's giving high fashion darling i got this in ugh, a 12 she's a classy lady mm. i don't know if i probably sizing has just changed because i definitely haven't lost weight but honestly the 12 is the 12 is a bit big i think it's good because i probably used to be able to not even get into them so i think they have actually improved their sizing because look it's like all bunched up and I don't know. I mean, even if it was my size, I don't know if I actually love it. I got sucked into how the model was wearing it with a red lip and hair up and just thought it would look good on me. But yeah, it's not given what I want it to give. I like that it has cups. It goes in at the waist. I feel like on somewhere maybe blonde with like little pointed heels, it could be a vibe. The satin as well is actually really flattering. It's double lines. It's lace up. Oh, I haven't laced it up. Maybe that will... Oh, okay, wait a sec. Oh, okay, the lace-up has really sucked me in there. Cute little detail at the back. I get now why they always do the lace-ups, because it sucks you in. The scarf thing, I don't think is my look. I don't think it's my trend. You know, some trends we need to leave behind, apart from being able to be, like, oh, dramatically and walk out. Like, this is what I'd wear to my third husband's funeral to collect my inheritance. Do you know what I mean? It's really given that, like sassy <sighs> energy but it's not for me i sometimes i just have to admit i'm not that girl and that's okay that's okay the final dress i actually got for traveling it's so nice it's like this little tennis style dress from bow and tee again that really thick stretchy fabric if you have never tried it please try it it will change your life you will not want to wear any other clothes ever in this lovely little grey colour because I thought I could wear it with like a little hoodie over, trainers. It's a basic but it's elevated and I want it on my body right now. I got it in a medium by the way. Get me a tennis racket match point. Go. I mean I don't know enough tennis references to make a funny joke because the only tennis I played was on Wii Sports when I was about seven. <sighs> you know. Okay. <sighs> We used to talk about the boobies. Why has it given me an actual boob job? I'm not wearing a bra, you can't see the nipple. It's, I just love bow and tee. I just want everything from them, but it is quite expensive. And I'm like, I want every basic to just be from them. Maybe I should get everything from them and never buy any other clothes ever. That's how much I like this material. Again, it does have that slightly lower back. It's just got that cute sports girl vibe. The best part though is the skirt has a shorts underneath. <laughs> so no one can see up your skirt. I mean, in hindsight, I probably should have got a large because the medium is like <sighs> sucking me in a little bit too much. You know, it's cut off the circulation, but some things are worth it, okay? I think there's so many ways you can style this. You look put together, cute, it's comfy, but you haven't really made that much effort. Like, I love that vibe. And with that, we have concluded the haul. I definitely didn't need to be scared. Like, everything is actually so flattering. I feel like their pieces are made with the female body in mind. It sucks you in, it pushes up your boobs. It's not too short. Like, I really do think their quality is worth the money, especially for a big night out or if you want a basic that you're just going to wear forever. So, yeah, I actually really love a lot of things in this. And I hope you enjoyed watching, got some inspiration. Remember to not let your body insecurities hold you back from wearing nice things. Because I feel like even though sometimes I wear things, I'm like, oh, my belly looks a bit bloated, whatever. If it's something I like and the fit is giving, I feel like overrides it and I just feel confident. I hope that makes sense, but thanks for watching. I love you. I hope you have the best week. See you soon.